Hello and welcome to another update video about Silver. A lot of you have asked for an update because Silver has moved quite quickly in the last few days. We had a pretty, pretty nice, a pretty nice pattern that developed because it was very nicely readable. And this worked out really well, this entire move. Obviously I mentioned to you in the last update, I think I was just analyzing um, the chart in the last update when it was working here on the late stages of the B wave rally. Uh, okay, well, consolidation within a wave two. Quick explanation, a larger correction could have completed here on the 7th of August. Whether that's a substantial low or just an A wave and we're working on a B wave corrective rally, we will have to see. But for now, um, the chart is following the uptrend idea so that we had some kind of a low that became clear after a first five wave move to the upside. When that occurred, I highlighted to you that this here is likely an A wave and a B wave. And I think we already saw the beginning of the C wave in the last video. It did reach the target. Now, okay, I should never really say, well, it was a target because we already could in the last video define the Fibonacci extensions. They are actually targets, not only support, and it reached here the 1.38 extension, pretty much where the 50% retracement is located. We had an overlap there of a couple of support levels and the price bounced from there and is now rallying. And I mentioned to you that, um, I mean, I don't give you trade recommendations really because I can really only give you the chart analysis or whether you take a trade or not really depends much more on your own risk profile, trading system and so on than on the chart itself. But I highlighted to you that we can watch for higher prices um, and a possible reversal in the support region, which was defined between $26.74 and $27.40. I also highlighted to you this trend line here and this could make a good breakout trade potentially. It's only an idea, it's not a trade recommendation or so, yeah? but it was a uh, an idea and um, we have three touch points here. So that was a um, an interesting signal. You see the chart struggled a little bit with that. There was a retest, however, and the retest was successful. Now, the question is what's going on right now? Um, I mean, we have a five wave move up again from that low. So this year, at least this would be my current interpretation. We have a small um, one, two again. I would nearly say that this could be a five wave move. I might actually put the one here and then one, two, three, four, five, different ways of counting it, but you can interpret it as a five wave move. That means the question is, and I have to increase the wave degree here by one, was this already a one, two setup? And we are already now on the move higher. changing the wave degree here briefly. I think this is definitely plausible. The only thing is this wave two happened quite quickly. It is too large to be an internal wave four. The only other thing I could imagine is that this was only the A wave of wave two. So that if we draw an alternative scenario on here, this here could have been the A wave, <clears throat> maybe a B wave top, and we get another move down in wave C that would be an alternative highlighted in yellow. But as soon as we get a sustained break above the last high at $28.52, I think the low is already in and it's already starting to move. If I'm adding the support zone, so just in case we get another low, whatever the price is doing, it shouldn't break below $27.42. I'm gonna take out the lower support so this is it, yeah. If we, if we need another low in this correction, doesn't necessarily look like it needs one, but you never know. Then the support zone here between $27.42 and $27.94 is support. 
So, and then we could go higher in a third wave and it could send us higher overall. And then it would have to be put together like that. And if circle two bottomed, which I at the moment assume it did for now, then the projection for circle three points towards $29.25 plus, but probably higher. So more like maybe we, we get to $30 in this, in this rally in circle wave three. I'll keep you updated. Hope you liked the update. If you did, um, yeah, please leave a like, um, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And also if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, feel free to check out our stocks and S&P 500 service. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.